Hey guys, welcome to today's video. My name is Ben from Ben's Guide and I'm going to be showing you how the HDR merge tool can give you some awesome results when combined with just one other tool inside Luminar Neo and you can get some great results time after time after time. So that's going to be coming up in today's video. But first off, I want to show you how you can just use HDR merge for single exposures. If you're not someone who goes ahead and actually takes loads of different exposures, and that's just not the thing you do in your photography, then you can actually do this with single photos. So I've gone ahead and dragged this into the HDR merge little console here, and we're just gonna merge this single exposure, and we're gonna see what kind of results HDR merge gives us. If you haven't got HDR merge, you can get this. It's a plugin for Luminar Neo. If you're a subscriber, you get it free, but if you've paid for the one-off Luminar Neo software, then you will have to pay for this. But it's definitely worth it my opinion so you can check that out in the link which gives you a discount if you want to do that but let's just get into this so I can show you how it works this single exposure I'm going to click merge on and let's see what happens now straight away it's taken us in to the HDR merge folder here and it's showing us the merged version but I want to show you it compared with the original version so you can see the difference so if I click on all photos and I come into the first image, we're going to be able to see that this is quite dark in places. There's really not much exposure here, not much light. And as you know, HDR or high dynamic range is really good for getting more light, more detail out of your shadows and your highlights in your image. This can be really important for landscapes and different styles of photography as well. So this is the first image. This is what we're looking at before we applied it to HDR Merge. And this is what we're looking at now. You can see it's done a brilliant job and actually bringing back detail in all these areas and actually balancing the photo all together. Now this is just one example of using this on a single exposure. But I'd actually like to show you a couple of examples in different kind of ways before I jump in and show you how to combine this with another tool to get really excellent results. So let's jump into the catalog again and let's pick another photo so you can see how this does it time and time again for different images giving you great results. So let's go ahead and pick this one right here. Now, this is a difficult image to work with because there's lots of contrast. The lights are a bit too bright and you've really got some dark shadows here as well. So we need to balance this out and get the dynamic range correct in the image. So let's do the same again. Drag this into HDR Merge and let's see what happens. Now, once again, it's brought us into the HDR merge folder so you can actually see the merged image. But what we'll do again is we'll jump back into all photos so you can see the comparison. So this is the first image. It's a nice image, but we really want to kind of eke out a little bit more in the highlights and the shadows of the image. So this is the result after merging it. And you can see it's really balanced out the image so much better and it's just give us a great image just in one click. So HDR Merge can be brilliant to work with single exposures. If you need to get more out of your photo and it's very contrasty or you've got some deep shadows and bright highlights, then this can be really good for balancing it out. And it's something that I'm gonna be adding to my workflow to speed it up. I wanna show you something that happens when you combine this with another tool. So we're gonna click on this image right here and first off, we're going to drag this into HDR Merge. Now, if we go into all photos, let's compare them both together. This is the first one right here. It's a nice image, but you can get so much more out of it. And then when we apply into HDR Merge, look at the difference. Beautiful. So you can see brilliant results once again. But when we go into the Edit tab now, I'm going to use this alongside another tool which every person can use that has a copy of Luminar Neo. And this is just going to give you so much more just by using one click inside another tool. When we come down here, I'm going to take you in to mood. Now, if you don't know what mood is, it's a little bit similar to presets, but actually this is a LUT or a lookup table. 
And this is something that you can apply to your images to change the overall tone and color. Let me show you how it works. I'm clicking in choose lot here and I'm going to go into one of these and choose. Let's go for long beach. And you can see that we've applied this now to the image. Now, if you want to see what it was like before, this is it. This is the before where we've done the HDR merge and this is the after. We've now added this beautiful color and tone to the image to just take it to the next level. And this is one click. If you want to take this even further, you can do. You can push up the amount slider and this is going to increase the tone and the look. And look how beautiful that looks right now. You can also go ahead and push up contrast and you can increase the contrast in the image as well. Or you can bring that down depending on what your desire for the image is. And finally, you can push up the saturation. If you want to push more color into the image, you can do that as well. Having a look, having a look at the original image again, this is the HDR merge. And now with the mood tone added as well, you can see that this really does so much to the final image. And you can apply this to image after image to get more and more great results. When you click into Mood, remember that you've got a bunch of different LUTs that you can work with. You've got the cinematic toning, the creative, and you've got other ones like cross processing and portrait toning as well. There's a whole bunch of them already built in to Luminar Neo. This is something that you can have fun with straight away with your photos, but when combining it with a HDR merge, you get this really powerful combo of not only taking care of the light and dynamic range in the image, but also taking care of the color and the tone as well. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video and you found it useful for getting some real fast and awesome results when editing in Luminar Neo. Now, remember to hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Love to have you here for more of the videos in future. And if you haven't got HDR Merge yet and you're interested, then remember there's that discount link in the description if that's what you're interested in. Whatever you do for the rest of the day, guys, have a great one and I'll see you in the next video.